and waking up every morning feeling like you're trapped in quicksand. The world around you is moving at warp speed, but you, you're stuck. This is the reality for millions living with depression, an invisible weight they carry every day. What if I told you that understanding and managing this condition is possible? In this short video, I will help you break down the barriers and open up conversation about men and depression, shattering stereotypes and offering practical tips to help to reclaim control of life. Before I get into practical tips, this is one thing that I want to do. I want to remind you that I'm providing general advice and not a professional diagnosis or treatment. Each person's experience with depression is unique. And while these tips can be helpful, professional medical advice is crucial. Okay, now let's get into some practical tips. Fellas, the first thing that you should do is acknowledge your feelings. I want you to recognize that it's okay to feel down and it doesn't make you any less of a man. Our society often conditions men to suppress how they feel, but it's important for you as a man to acknowledge and express how you feel. The second tip that I want to give you is I want you to seek professional help. Reach out to a healthcare provider, therapist, psychologist, psychiatrist. These people are trained to help you navigate your feelings and can provide you with the tools to manage depression. The third thing that I want you to do is connect with others. It can be particularly hard for you as a man to reach out due to societal expectations around masculinity. However, isolation can exasperate your feelings of depression. So try to connect with friends and family or even other support groups. Please do not isolate yourself. A fourth thing that I suggest you do is choose a healthy lifestyle. Regular physical activity and a balanced diet can significantly impact your mood and energy levels. While it may be challenging to find motivation, start with small steps. These can help. Also, there are a lot of fellas, a lot of men that deal with sleep apnea, which will deprive you of getting a sound sleep. This can also trigger symptoms of depression. Untreated sleep apnea has serious consequences for your mental and physical health. So if you think you're having trouble sleeping and you're dealing with insomnia, check with your physician to get a sleep study to make sure that you do not have sleep apnea. Also, I think another good tip you can apply to your life is practicing focused meditation. Exercises and meditation can help manage symptoms of depression. I know from personal experience, focus meditation allows you to focus on the present moment rather than getting lost in negative thoughts and bad decisions that you've made in the past. And you could rehearse those things over and over in your mind. Those can trigger depression. Instead of meditating on stuff you did wrong, stuff that you're shameful of, or bad decisions that you've already made, try meditating on the good things in your life. A lot of times we focus on bad things that happen, and sometimes it's maybe just one or two things. But please practice focused meditation. Some people also call it mindfulness meditation. However you are persuaded regarding these practices, I advise that you practice. Another thing that we must do and that I strongly advise is that you avoid using alcohol and drugs. These substances can make depression worse and might prevent your antidepressant from working as it should. We like to get turned up and we like to turn to substances to help us numb the pain that we have but a lot of times the stuff that we turn to can make our situation 
and our mental condition and emotional condition worse. As I said earlier, get some sleep. A lot of us are overworked. So with the seventh tip that I have for you is to prioritize sleep. Depression can often lead to sleep disturbances. Prioritize good sleep hygiene. Maintain regular sleep hours. Create a comfortable sleep environment and avoid caffeine close to bedtime. A lot of us are overworked and we're so busy working hard and making a living that we forget to get a sufficient amount of sleep. And the final thing I want to advise you do is to find an outlet for your feelings. This could be anything from writing in a journal, which is one of my personal favorites, to picking up a new hobby or sport, go to the gym, play some basketball, play some video games, draw, do artwork, do paintings. These things can be a healthy way to express your feelings and alleviate stress. And most of all, in conclusion, I want to help you understand seeking help is a sign of strength. It's not a weakness. I encourage you strongly to seek some professional help if you are feeling depressed. It is crucial that you know you are not alone in this, brother. I don't care what your race is. I don't care what your religious creed is. I don't care if you're Christian, Muslim, atheist, Buddhist, straight, or gay, or whatever. You're not alone. You are not alone.